Okay. We are live on Facebook. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's live session. Uh, super keen on today. It's rainy weather. So we decided to sit outside and experience the weather while we can. So super excited about that. Uh, we're just waiting for Instagram's live feed and we are live on Instagram. Hello everyone. Great rainy weather today. Lovely to sit outside. So we decided to sit outside and enjoy the weather. So welcome to this week's live feed every Tuesday at 3. So make sure you join in every Tuesday. Uh, we talk about a lot of things. So that is great and we share some knowledge which is awesome. Uh, so just a quick recap uh, again on what's happening with Millionaire. We're busy setting up our program and our course for next year. We're going to go to most of the schools in the country and teach a course. We're still in negotiations with the um, um, education department and those type of things to get that arranged for next year would be great. Um, so we're still in the process of developing the course and that type of stuff so watch this space and then the book is also busy distributing to all of the bookstores throughout South Africa so go check your nearest bookstore and find it there how to become a millionaire at 22 great guys um, then this week we had a few questions so the first one was Vaughn asking uh, what's a good investment return like uh, ROI and it really depends. If you're looking at a long-term investment, real long-term, I think every, anything above 10% is good. Um, please just don't put everything in the bank at 5% or 6%. Inflation is more than that, so you're losing money. Don't do that. Um, my properties get up to 27%. It all depends on how well you know your financial, um, you know, financial concepts. Hey Tom, thanks for joining in. It all depends on how good you are with your financial concepts and your business plan. So businesses can give you way more ROI depending on what you do with it. Um, otherwise, uh, a long-term investment, you can put it in a long-term investment for over 10%. I think that's good. If you can do something better with it, like property or business, awesome for you. Okay, so that's my answer on that. Um, then Melanie asked, what about procrastination? So a lot of people normally ask me about that and there's a few answers. Uh, we can talk through them today. I thought to spend the session a bit on procrastination and how to take care of that. So Melanie, to answer your question, and the first thing that you can do to you know, prevent procrastination or try and fix it is by getting something that you are passionate about. A lot of people procrastinate because they're not actually passionate about what they're doing. They don't want to do it. So they delay and delay and delay. So the first step is make sure that you do what you're passionate about. And obviously, you will then be excited about doing it. You will be, um, wait, can't wait to get home to do it. Hey, Alris, thanks for joining in on the live session. Tom, Alris, if you have any questions, just shoot them and we will talk about it live. Uh, and online. So today we're talking about procrastination and uh, Melanie asked uh, how do I deal with procrastination? I feel like I can be more productive but somehow I'm always procrastinating and um, the answer is I'll say four things. The first thing is you have to have passion for what you're doing because if you have passion you would be excited to do it. You would, be, you would feel like yes I just want to start um, but because sometimes we don't have passion for what we're doing, we're pushing it out and we're pushing it out and we're not getting to it. So if you're not actually passionate about what you're doing, find a way to get yourself motivated or passionate. Because, for example, when I had to study industrial engineering, I would always pack little dinosaur sweets out on the table because I'm super passionate about dinosaurs. I love them. And I'm super passionate about sweets because I love that as well. So I used to pack them out on the, on the table in front of my study books. And if I finished the chapter studying, I could get one of the dinosaurs. So in that way, you can also trick your brain into becoming passionate about what you're doing because you're actually passionate about the reward rather than the actual task. But that will also help you not to procrastinate that much and to just get it done, to just start, because you're going to get that sweetie dinosaur. Awesome. 
Okay. The second tip is a tip that I took from uh, Frank Leibrand, which is the five second rule. And hey, Marius. Hey, Akilmo. Ak- Ak- <laughs> Thanks for joining in. Um, so, so the second tip is to do the five second rule. And that means you count down from five. So if you want to procrastinate on something and don't want to do it, just say five, four, three, two, one, and do it. Okay? And um, the reason why you count down from five is because you can't count any lower than one or zero. Because if you count up to five, you will always tell yourself, okay, six, seven, eight, and then you can go forever before you actually do it. So count down from five and just do it. Guys, Tom, Alris, Alcamo, Marius, if you have any questions, send them through and we will talk about them live. Uh, today we're talking about, we answered Vaughn's question on interest rates and now we're busy answering Melanie's question on procrastination. So we're talking about a, a bit about procrastination and what to do and how to get out of it and just get it going and just start doing. Um, so it's, we're at the third point and I'll summarize if we're finished. So the third, the third thing you can do is to promise yourself to do it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is not that long. 10 minutes is not that long. So if you don't want to do something and you're, you're seeing that you're procrastinating, tell yourself, look, I'm just going to do it for 10 minutes. And then your brain would, you can trick your brain because your brain would be thinking, oh, 10 minutes, not that bad. Let's start it. And then I promise you, if you're in it for 10 minutes, it's going to be much easier to just carry on and go through with it and spend more time on it. So just promise yourself 10 minutes and then just start doing it and you'll see that by the time you look at your clock, it's already been half an hour or it's already been an hour and you've been busy for it, uh, on it for a while. Okay guys, so, so procrastination, how can we beat it? The first one is you need to be passionate about what you're doing if you've missed it at the end of this video just check it at the top at the top you can see it in my stories the live feed again but we talked about the first one hey Do, uh, thanks for joining in um, the first one was uh, passionate being passionate about you do what you're doing the second one was uh, the five second rule just count down from five and just do it and the third one was um, 10 minutes promise yourself 10 minutes and then just get it done. Okay guys, then there's another thing about procrastination and that's the last one on this topic and that is that a lot of people think they procrastinate but actually they're just not um, giving the right priority to certain tasks. So we're gonna talk about that now. Tom, Alris, Alkimo, Marius, Do, Yaku, what's up let me know what's happening in your business or your side hustle and ask any questions that you would like to know and we will talk about them live so we've been talking about procrastination and a lot of people tell me albert i'm procrastinating but then when i look at the actual situation they're actually just not prioritizing right because they're really busy they're busy with a lot of things they do a lot of things but they're not completing the right tasks And they're actually procrastinating by doing other things. So you need to look at what you have to do and prioritize the correct tasks that will give you the best value or return first. So determine what tasks you have to do, decide which ones gives you the best value or return and do them first. Don't wait on them, you can wait on the others. Okay guys, so that's my four tips on procrastination. If you want to um hear all of them again you can watch the live feed again at the top in my stories after the session though we've been procrastinating on our social media <laughs> that is one of our clients here at gazeri we help with web development social media management and branding um so yes though we need to get our social media marketing up for eclectic design go check out eclectic design right now um they produce awesome products And they can uh, just check them out. They're great. Michael Stolls, thanks for joining in. Yaku, the question is, Albert, what is your opinion on Bitcoin? Yaku, (laughs) I get this question a lot all over the place. So 
I think Bitcoin is a future currency that we're going to use. I attended a, um, a conference with uh, Google the other day where the former CEO of Google talked about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and the future of where we're going in terms of currency and money. And I think we're definitely going in that direction. If you just look at how Bitcoin has grown, I think last last year, this time, the price for Bitcoin was 20,000 Rand. It's now over 170,000 Rand per Bitcoin. So if you had money in Bitcoin last, time this, uh, last year, this time, you would have made a lot of money by now. But there is still a lot of controversy over it in terms of government and politics. So I think at the moment, the world is moving into that direction, except for if something big happens in politics or government, or maybe if there's a big decision against cryptocurrencies. But I think that's unlikely. Unfortunately, um, I only invest uh, some of my own money in, in Bitcoin and do not currently invest other people's money in Bitcoin for them. Um, I'm not an FSP, so I can't give any advice or financial advice or, or guidance to where you should invest your money. I personally think that um, Bitcoin is a growing currency and my money is in, I have some money in Bitcoin as well. Um, not all of it, most of my capital is in property, but I do have some capital in Bitcoin and I believe that it's a growing currency going in that direction. Yaku, how was that? Is that answering your question? Is that what you wanted today? Let me know. You can also follow a lot of the Bitcoin news online. See what the big guys are saying about it. As I said, I, I was at a conference with the former CEO of Google. He thinks it's a growing currency and we're going in that direction. So I think maybe you should put a few uh, rands or something in Bitcoin and see where it goes. Okay, great. Michael, thanks so much. Dario is saying I've got a... con contract in mining making good returns thanks though that's good uh, so yeah you can always mine bitcoin get a big server see how the return on investment is i've read up a bit on the return of investment in terms of mining bitcoin but um, in this case i think the return is still low because it takes so long to to make a bitcoin but in this case doe says that he's making good returns which is great so check that out as well Duck is saying, love what you said, very true, and it was good um, style. Awesome, <laughs> thanks, Yaku. Okay, guys, Tom, El Ries, Alcamo, Marius, Doe, Yaku, Michael, and Grant Martin. Thanks for joining in. Let me know if there's any other questions. Send them through, and we can answer them live. So, yeah, send through your questions, the guys on Facebook, the guys on Instagram, and we can talk about it live. It's a lovely day today. Love the weather, sitting outside in the rain. <laughs> so, um, I think it's fitting if you all have a coffee and on with the live session. So, we're enjoying this today. Um, yes, guys, so really excited about the things that's happening this uh, season. We're busy with um, developing a course for Millennia 22 to visit all of the schools with and then we're also distributing the book throughout the country where there's a few surprises coming next year in terms of more content in terms of voice and writing so that's just all I'm gonna say now and um, we'll have a surprise for you next year in terms of content from Millennia 22 side so great guys if there isn't any further questions, I think that's all for today. Thank you everyone for joining in. We are here live every Tuesday at 3. So get your questions ready and then we can talk about it on a Tuesday at 3. And you can also send your questions throughout the week on Instagram or Facebook direct messaging. So send them through and then we can talk about them online. Marlu, thanks for joining in just now. <laughs> we are actually signing off. If you just missed the live session, watch the whole live session at the top in my story and then you can see everything that happens um yaku is asking albert are your book in the cape already yes yaku my book is nationwide um in exclusive books bargain books wordsworth cna pna all across south africa so go to your nearest bookstore and you will find it there 
The other option is also to buy it online. You can buy it at www.millionaire22.com and we can ship it to you in the Cape. So no problem. Postnet to Postnet shipping, it's 99 bucks for Postnet to Postnet and then you have it at your nearest Postnet. Cool, Yaku. I hope that answers your question. Thanks, Tom. Uh, it was an awesome session. Everyone, have a great day. See you next week.